Hello, how to solve 3 power t minus 2 power t equals 65? We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Remember, t is an integer, in fact, positive integer. And also, that means t is greater than 0. So, for us to solve this, let's just recopy the problem. We have 3 to the power of t minus 2 to the power of t, and this equals 65. We can decide to raise this to the power of 1, which is the same thing. Now, let's make use of this trick here. So, we are going to apply the idea of equivalent fractions. If you have 1, this is like writing 2 over 2 or 3 over 3. It's the same thing as writing 1. So, we are going to replace this one here with 2 over 2 so that we can make use of difference of two squares. So, you have 3 to the power of t and this is raised to the power of 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of t and this is raised to the power of 2 over 2 and this equals 65. So from here we can apply this identity if you have a power n or to the power of n equals a power n times n. So we apply this identity right here and here. So what we are going to do is we can have, we can factor out this one over two at the denominator. We can have three to the power of, that is t over two. We just factor out one over two here. And this raised to the power of these two here, minus two to the power of t, this is over two. And this raised to the power of the two again, and this equals 65. Now, at this point, we can say, let 3 to the power of t over 2 equals x, and also 2 to the power of t over 2 equals y. So by taking note of this, instead of this, we are going to have x squared minus, instead of this, we have y squared and this equals 65. So let's apply difference of two squares here. Remember, if you have a squared minus b squared, this equals a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, our a equals x and b equals what? y. So right here, we are going to have this is x plus y times x minus y and this equals 65. Now this is multiplying this so we need to also split this into two parts. We need two factors that when once we multiply we have 65 and they must be prime numbers, prime factors. So the two prime factors are we have 13 times 5, that will give you 65 or 5 times 13. 13 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 13 is a prime number. So those are the two prime factors. Now, what are we going to do? So we have x plus y times x minus y equals 5 times 13. Now observe this, we can either write it this way or this way, but there is a way to go about it. x plus y here is greater than x minus y. Remember, x plus y will be greater than x minus y. So that means the bigger number here will be x plus y. So the, this one here will be the 5. So we can have it as x plus y times x minus y equals, instead of writing 5 times 13, we have 13 times 5 because we are going to equate x plus y to 13, which is the bigger number here. Then we have x minus y equals 5, because the positive one will be greater than the negative one. That's why we are equating this to 13. Have you seen it? So we have these two systems of equation that we are going to solve, this equation 1 and this equation 2. So we are going to solve this using the substitution method. From here, we can make 
y the subject of formula here. We have y equals, we move this x over here, that is 13 minus x. When this x crosses this equality sign, it changes to negative. So this becomes our equation 3. We can substitute this for x here in equation 2. Instead of writing this x, we are going to, okay, instead of writing this, rather this y here, instead of writing this y here, we are going to substitute this y for y in this equation 2. So instead of writing this y here, we are going to have 13 minus x. So there's x here, we have x minus, instead of y, we have 13 minus x, and this equals 5. So from here we have x, negative times 13, that is negative 13, negative times negative x, that is positive x, and this equals 5. So from here we have x plus x, that is 2x minus 13 equals 5. So let's move this over here, it becomes positive 13. So you have 2x equals 5 plus 13. And from here, we have 2x equals 5 plus 13 is 18. So we solve for x by dividing this part by 2. We divide this by 2. 2 eliminate 2. So therefore, we have x equals 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now let's solve for y using this equation here because we have made y the subject here. So we have, recall that y equals what? 13 minus x. And our x is 9. So we are going to have y equals 13 minus 9. So y equals 13 minus 9 is simply 4. So our y is 4. Y our x is 9. Now that is not all. We need to, we are solving for t. So we are going to make use of any of these equations to solve for t. So let's make use of x first. We copy this equation, 3 power t over 2 equals x, we copy it down here. So we have 3 over t over 2, 3 power t over 2 equals x. And recall that our x is 9, so we have 3 power t over 2 equals 9. 9 is a perfect square, we can represent it as 3 power 2. We have 3 to the power of t over 2 equals 3 power 2. Since the bases are the same, we compare the exponent. So we equate this exponent. So we have t over 2 equals 2 and this over 1. So we cross multiply. We have t times 1, that is t, and this equals 2 times 2. We have 4. So using this equation for x, we are having t as 4. Now let's also consider this other one here for y. So we have 2 power t over 2 equals y. And don't forget that y equals 4 from what we solved earlier on. So we are going to have 2 power t over 2 equals 4. 4 is a perfect square. We can express it as 2 power 2. We have 2 power t over 2 equals 2 power 2. The bases are the same. We compare the exponent. So we are going to have t over 2 equals 2 and this over 1. We cross multiply. So you have t times 1, that is t equals 2 times 2, we have 4. So in any of the two equations, we are having the same value of t. Have you seen it? In any of the two equations that we are using, we are having the same value of t. So the next thing we are going to do is to check If that value of t will satisfy this equation, we have t equals 4. So you have 3 power t minus 2 power t equals 65. So let's insert t 4 for t here. We have 3 power 4 minus 2 power 4 equals 65, question mark. 3 power 4 simply means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that is 81. Minus 2 power 4 simply means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that is 16. And this equals 65. Of course, 81 minus 16 is 65. And this equals 65. So the answer 
is obviously very correct and that is it and that is the end of the video please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends thank you and goodbye